A lot of the power distribution boards you're probably used to looking at are like this one. This is where you run a positive and negative into the board and every positive and negative on the rest of the board output the same voltage. And this works well if that's what you need. They also have ones like this one. This is a new uh, Diatone uh, power distribution board and uh, this is actually the version 5. It has a uh, 12 volt output up here, a 5 volt output up here, and a place for your camera and your video transmitter, and of course all your ESCs can go along the outside as well. And this one works real well when you just need your power reduced. Well, there's here's another power distribution board. This one's a lot smaller. This one's actually made by Dow RC, and this is uh, it has the uh, uh, four outputs for your ESCs. It has one input here for your um, power input. Then it has a five volt output on this place right here. There we go. We got it upside down. Five volt output over here, so you can run your power or your um, flyboard off of this. It also has a video transmitter output, and this is kind of cool for minis. Then there's this even smaller one. This is another power distribution board. This one can only handle up to 3S batteries, but it has ESC outputs out here on the four corners. It has a five volt output, let's turn this over, a five volt output down here on the bottom, and then it also has your battery inputs over here. And like I said, this one only does 3S, but this is really good if you're doing micro builds. Well, today I'm gonna to look at this one here. This is actually a Maytek power distribution board, and this is, they call this a five in one. And it comes with the, uh, well it has instructions in there too, but it comes with the little servo lead and some of these little spacers. And what this does, actually, it has uh, five different functions. And if you flip it over here to the back side, you can actually see them. Power distribution board, BEC output, LED control, loss plane, and low voltage alarm. Now when you hook your battery up to this, the, the instructions say both ways. You can plug it in here. Uh, to these two and the power actually would run through the board over to the, your two strips where uh, ESCs would be connected or you can run your power straight over to these two strips which is actually the way I'd probably prefer to do it that way your power wires are closer to your ESC wires and they're probably going to flow through solder instead of actually down here through the board either way should work and um, so it doesn't really matter what this is for is you can plug your um, your uh, servo lead onto here like this and this needs to plug into a PWM uh, port on your receiver. If you're using something like a D4R2 you're probably using PPM so this isn't going to work for you but if you're using a uh, S bus, the, what's it called, the X4R SB, this should work for you because your S bus will be going through the S bus port and the other three are set up for PWM. It's just a matter of trying to figure out how to program those to toggle a switch on and off. And what you what the switch will do is actually turn your uh, lost plane alarm on and off. Now this thing has a BEC built into it and it's right up here and this is a 12 volt output. 5.07, 5.08 volts coming off the BEC that's built in. If you read the instructions, the instructions say that you can remove um, you can remove this little ohm resistor right here and solder these two pins together and this thing will start out putting 12 volts. Let me just tell you, don't do it. This is my other one I had first to try this all out and to get it to work. And where is that? Where are those pins? There they are. I took that little ohm resistor off, soldered those together like the instructions said, and this thing started outputting about four volts. The BEC is outputting. Oh, it's climbing up. Oh no, it's coming down. So it went from five to four. So don't don't unsolder that and bridge those across. I I I wouldn't trust it. This little this little ohm thing over here is too small to get back on. That's the piece you have to remove off of the board. The thing is like microscopic. But the uh, power distribution board on the bottom of this, it works great. These wires here, I, I ran them from the outside. If I was hooking this up to my quadcopter, I'd run them from the inside to keep all the stuff inside the board instead of making it so wide because this will all stick outside your quadcopter and you don't want that. You want it on the inside. And like I said, I ran the power wires. This is battery adapter. I ran the power wires up straight up to these two strips, not up here to this like the instructions said to. And I still have 
uh, plenty of space down here for four more ESCs and it should work fine. So the other thing I had a hard time figuring out and I still haven't figured it out yet. If someone else knows how to do it, please tell me. But I have these LED strips hooked up to these LED strips on the outside. And uh, the only time I can get these to come on is when I power it on, they flash real quick. And um, it, that's all, that's all I can get out of it. I'll show how you set the low voltage alarm on this board. First thing you need to do is plug it in and watch. The LED strips will, will flash and now they're on. Okay, well, now they're on permanently. Okay, well that's, that's a little different than it was last time. But coming down here, you can see the um, power output there is set for 3.6. And what I do, I push this down, hold it. There we go. Now it's in the change mode. So I can click it, now it's off. Now it's on 3.4 volts. Now it's on 3.7, now it's on 3.6. And I'm gonna put it on 3.4 and you just let it sit. And there now it's set on 3.4 volts per cell. And these LEDs are actually working. That's awesome. Maybe it's because I'm using a four volt or a 4S battery. I think I was trying a 3S battery before. Maybe that's the difference. Let me go grab one. All right, so I have my 3S battery here. Let me go ahead and plug this in and we'll see what these hap see what happens. Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, I'm not I'm not totally crazy. The LED strips don't come on if you if I'm only running uh, three cell, but then they're on permanently if the four cell is on. I think there's also some way you're supposed to be able to toggle the LEDs uh, through the um, through the servo lead, but I couldn't exactly figure that out. But then again, I wasn't using a four cell battery before. Let me try one more time. Here's the four cell again, and I'll plug this in. Oh yeah, now I got plenty of bright LEDs coming off of this. Okay, well that's interesting to know. Use a four cell, your LEDs work. Three cell, they don't work. Anyway, this is the Matek board. And the thing I like most about this is having the built-in low voltage alarm. And I don't have to, there's no programming other than selecting where you want the battery voltage to start triggering the low voltage alarm. And I specifically got this board because of the, uh, low voltage alarm buzzer and uh, if you have like I said if you have the servo connected to your PWM output then you can flip the switch and this thing will start beeping and it does work because I, I tried it on and it's plenty loud when you're walking around out in the out in the grass looking for your quad you can definitely find it with this buzzer. It's not as loud as like the dual buzzers that you can buy externally, but this one's all built in and you can see it's not very tall here. And so you don't have to have a lot of space between this one and your powder distribution board, but it did come with these. So you can mount these directly to your board or directly to your uh, main plate and then mount your flight board up on top of it using the spacers. And you have two different sizes. You kind of have this little smaller one here and a little bit thicker one there depending on how good your soldering skills are and whether or not you're uh, stacking up your um, your wires on top of each other instead of trying to get them all flat anyway this is the Matek power distribution board I really like this mostly because of this low voltage alarm and knowing that the LEDs outputs work with a 4s battery is going to make my life a little bit easier as well because I did not know that. But anyway, if you have any questions about this power distribution board, uh, check them out or let me leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out. If, you, if you're interested in some of these little smaller boards, they will I'll have links to these in there too. I think these ones are going to be fabulous for um, little minis and uh, like LKTR 120 or a 90. But look how little this is, even compared to this board here. This is the standard size of a Naze 32 or a CC3D board. And this one is just like, what's that, a quarter size of the original board. But you can only run 3S through this Lat Latinian uh, board. This one here can handle four cell. And um, but you can tell here, this is about half size. So anyway, these are all great boards. The uh, This one is kind of my personal favorite right now just because of the built-in low voltage alarm. I can still have my... Um, have the low voltage alarm set up on my Tyrannus, but I also get, with this one, I get the um, Lost Plane Finder and the built-in low voltage alarm. Anyway, 
I'll start stop babbling about power distribution boards. If you have any questions about this, leave me in the comments, let me know, and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.